I'm back in Sam's again today. Lines are long again. If you have to come to Sam's or any store, I would suggest that you get the app, guys. The Scan and Go app. Show them the bar code. You can be out the door. What just happened? This little girl pushing her basket like she gonna run somebody over. If it's saying record, up here is recording. Yeah, is it counting? Well, we gonna get our bags. Yeah. You don't get any bags in Sam's, you know that. We don't get bags in Sam's. Down here. What are you doing, Destiny? Using the scan to go app to avoid that line over there. Show them. Avoid that line, avoid that line over there. Now that we're done, I'm going to select all of our items and check the tax exempt button. I hereby certify on the pencils here, blah, 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 blah. Prince of Green, check each item that you have. You need get mine. All right. <laughs> Let me know how much mine is. Hers was 35, everything over 35. Now, we're going to select everything. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> what a bad job! <laughs> All bad. Wait. <laughs> Your camera almost act like it was coming apart. You got to do it. Look at Girl, I don't know how to touch your car. What she got? What's that? Hand sanitizer. Don't come for me in the comments. <laughs> Girl, you flew. <laughs> <laughs> don't know how to touch your car. I already have this card activated. <laughs> and we're going to slide to pay. Don't show your phone. You know, these jokes screenshot. I it all get numbers. Point. You can put that out. I'm entering my card number now. <laughs> Okay. You cut it out. Okay. My daddy just asked my mama for a kiss. She's dodging him. <laughs> no kissing. <laughs> no kissing. But you get a little barcode on your phone like that. You're going to scan that at the door. That's my receipt. And then we're able to leave. And I made sure to scan everything. We have 20 items. Huh? Uh, let me scoot up for somebody skip us, right? Ooh, they're gonna get food and I'm gonna wait over here. It's moving quick. Y'all should wait actually Look at the lines. My camera's about to die. I didn't get much I know y'all probably looking for tissue and paper towels and stuff, but I already have that at home Get in there dad! Get in there dad! <laughs> <laughs> she stocked up, ain't she? I'm coming over your house. Look at my daddy. <laughs> Jackson kid. Okay guys, I'm in Walmart now and it's still crowded. Let's see if I can show you people. I probably can't. I have to find my parents. I had to go to the restroom and my battery is still blinking. I'm just tagging along for the ride and we keep getting all of these updates in the car. National security and more updates about stuff that Trump is saying and the school system. Let me think. Cleaning supplies. They're going to be this way actually. So what I'm noticing, excuse me, what I'm noticing is everybody's basket before the camera dies. It looks like everybody has water. <laughs> But comment down below let me know if y'all are like panic shopping or if you're not panic shopping you're buying things because everybody else is buying things and if everybody is buying things it means we'll run out of things so that becomes your reason for having to buy something i don't know let me know or just you may already just be stocked up on literally everything in your house certain stuff we didn't have to get like tissue paper towel things might be terrible before they get worse as far as food y'all know we shop weekly with our groceries and then really thinking strategically about what you get just stuff expires fast vegetables so you don't want to buy that i'm trying to find my parents without calling them just to see if i'm good at this before my camera dies this is the bathroom tissue aisle and one of the walmarts in memphis so in this particular walmart the lines are not as bad but also we have to take into consideration that more lines are open so they aren't long next up is Lowe's, guys and nothing's left Day. Some of you all were asking me to kind of show like different things that I was doing in preparation for it being a national emergency. Now, as of today, me recording this, y'all know my edits and I be behind, but President did issue a national emergency. Things were starting to shut down. Them and the kids are actually out of school now. Just been purchasing things just for the in case the world comes to a whole stop and nobody can leave their house for however long. Me and my sister, we kind of do like week by week 
type of grocery shopping, just replenishing a few things, things I just genuinely wanted. Went to Sam's, I got these strawberries, like double the size of the ones that they have in Kroger. So that just something to snack on while I'm like editing. This is a healthier alternative of a snack. I wish that I would've got like the little, you know, how you make strawberry shortcakes with the little bread, with cream, all of that, but Sam's didn't really have that, so I just got the strawberries and red grapefruit sunrise. I like a little fruit cup. And I heard that grapefruits are good for like burning fat and stuff, so I definitely wanted to go for these. And you get 16 cups. I did the scanning go, so I gotta try to get my receipt out from my phone, so I won't be able to tell you all any prices. 16 cups of the bubble fruit, mostly because I saw that it said strawberry lemonade, peach, strawberry lemonade. The juices inside of those little bubbles, and then the peaches are in there, not just like juice all over. But I mostly got it just because it says strawberry lemonade. Wanted to try that. These will be in the pantry as well. <laughs> some more juice. I think Dominique got some more juice too. On her channel, she did some more vlogging. Actually, she was in here when I was in the back. So she kind of got a head start. So I'll just kind of overview the pantry. Just in case, because I don't think this is everything. The Simply Lemonade, two of these. The strawberry kind. If you're new to my channel, I love strawberry lemonade. It's my go-to over sodas and stuff. I think Dominique is about to cook tacos today. I see this laying here. I'm almost out of mouthwash. Whenever I brush, I always brush my mouth out with mouthwash. So since I'm low, I want to have and stock up on some more of this as well. As long as it says that it kills germs and it leaves your mouth feeling fresh, I'm good with that. So this one is the Equate brand at Walmart. Just some chips. As far as the cleaning supplies, get what I saw, but we were getting low on our wipes. I think we have a few more of the Lysol wipes left because I use those in the film room and when we're like cleaning up and stuff anyways, around my film room desk to wipe up the makeup in the restroom, on the toilet. But I got the Dollar General disinfecting wipes. It says it kills cold, flu, and virus, and then it's the lemon scent. So as long as it kills germs, I don't too much care if it's name brand mostly or not. It says 99.9% kills germs so that's good that's from dollar general a couple of days ago we keep lots all around the house anyway but we were running low glad that i had purchased this before people really started purchasing up things early morning breeze scent of the Lysol. Now we can't find any. You all saw the raw footage. I don't know how I'm splitting everything up, but just in case that video is separate, it's a lot of stuff that's not on the shelves anymore because everyone wants the same things. I got some more Clorox for cleaning as well as I was washing my clothes the other day and we're out of Clorox. So <laughs> Dominique puts like a cap full in her baths as well. Y'all can talk to her about that on her YouTube channel though, but I get Clorox over bleach. Bleach kind of does what it says. It bleaches things, but I feel like Clorox keeps things white in the terms of washing your whites. And then as far as cleaning, this is the out, it says outdoor. Shucks, I got this one at Lowe's. I didn't read it. I just saw Clorox. So I'm assuming this one is more, it's going to have to be diluted. Yep, it said make 30 gallons. Oh my God, I need to let Dominique know that. What if I use it for washing? It probably has personal. I'll read all of that. I won't waste y'all time with it on here. Outdoor furniture, bricks and hosiery, deck and fencing. Oh my God, you dilute this with water. We're going to have to really dilute it if we mop with this to kill germs. Like some stuff, it just smells good. You know, like Fabuloso. If you're cleaning your house with something that just smells good, like Fabuloso, I don't think it has any claims for ridding your space of germs. Because I used to be like a Fabuloso advocate, but when I clean, I like things that sanitize and disinfect. Also, I'm not gonna lift it up, but there's two, how many packs? I'm gonna just guess 24 from where I'm standing. Two 24 packs of water. We still have some in the pantry left. I only had got one, but they charged me for two, so then I had to go back and get the other one because we was already leaving out of Walmart. I was like, don't even worry about it. And so I was like, well, let me just go run and get another one since you scanned me for it. See, I'm going to pan over the pantry and also pan over our laundry room where we keep a few things. Either some stuff has already been put away because I was in there editing a video and then I, Dominique was like, you can finish the rest. And I was like, okay, cool. I don't know. I should have asked y'all a lot specifically what you all wanted, but I knew that I was riding with my parents today to get some things. And y'all were like, show me what you get if you get something. So... I like the purple ones for the toilet. Most times you see like the, the standard blue ones. Dollar General usually has this kind. Actually, you put this in the back of the toilet. If someone flushes your toilet, they kind of be like, oh, wow. Like if they never seen the purple ones. Because you know, blue is like standard. Everybody got that. More Kleenex because we only have one box in the living room. So we got just the extra one in case there's a little more Kleenex to be needed <laughs> during this time. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, batteries. And the stuff I purchased ain't probably ain't necessarily correct. Virus related, 
I just needed it. I got some more batteries. We have like lots of LED candles throughout the house and they've been looking a little more dim than usual. So I was gonna just replace the bulbs in those. Some people were talking about what if like you have like a blackout, power goes out or emergency this, emergency that. And then I thought about it too. And I was like, I guess that's when these will come in handy. Cause they come on automatically for like four or five hours. If not, the other ones I have, they have a remote on them. Yeah, but I'm gonna go ahead and put everything else away so I can get back to editing. If I have to go out of the house, washing my hands will be crucial critical and important staying away from people doing the elbow bump thing or just not speaking i'm sorry like if i see somebody i know we all know the cool viruses out here we don't have to hug we ain't got to get close to each other we like hey from way over there like it's all love but we all know what's going on here i told dominique i was like so when i come in shower and get out of the clothes that i wore while i was outside like some people cracking jokes about it and feeling like it's not that serious but basketball games nba guys games have never been canceled over the flu people will cancel concerts but to like a mass level this is like a big deal serious deal schools have been canceled y'all was on my live saying was where some of y'all live for three weeks two weeks we're gonna be locked down i don't know how old everyone is that's watching but my mom was saying how she think it's gonna kind of be like when martin luther king got killed she was like five i think and they shut the city down nobody can move or do anything and when i'm out instead of playing the radio i listen to news related content to stay up to date and they were saying how the next eight weeks is going to be really critical and things are going to get worse before they get better with this whole thing even if not thinking about items not being on the shelves anymore if it still is on the shelf but the store isn't open because the employees need to be at home as well so what can you do other thing i need to do is go and get some gas for my car no i just need to put my car on full just in case i do have my sanitizer on my purse i'm more of an advocate for soap and water over sanitizer but when you're out in public <laughs> that's when it comes in handy like if you sneeze in your hand you have to open the freezer door to get out the ice cream and somebody else touched it before you also when it comes to soap you want products that are more i guess antibacterial i don't know but let me know what you've heard probably down below soaps like dove or olay they don't have antibacterial properties about them they claim to be more so moisturizing bars and then i did see that a lot of the dove and olay was still on the shelves but products like that that's what I purchased because I used to be a Dove girl. If you're not new to my channel, then you've heard me probably say like Dove's love and I still use Dove. But when you rinse, lather, repeat more than once, you want to use the Dow. Then I might reach for the Dove since it does moisturize me, but that wouldn't be the only thing that I'm using. I'm debating. Y'all know I have a gym membership. I'm also debating if it's important to go to the gym anymore. Just thinking about sweat and being wet and getting on machines after other people. Sure, you can wipe them off, but to a certain extent, my mind just feel like it's only so much of that that you can do but it ain't about wiping the machine off if i'm working out at the same time that someone else is there who has the virus that may not know they have it and they're working out as well we're in the same building together we're near one another we're you see what i'm saying so that's how things spread one person has something they're in a social gathering with people that have kind of been exposed to it so now those people leave their social gathering they all go their separate ways and then those people leave. that's how it spreads so if it gets to the point where they have to quarantine us, it's because everybody needs to stay, stay put and not engage with one another to constantly spread this thing around. If you've seen my skincare routine, then y'all know that like sanitizing my cell phone with like alcohol or the cotton ball and then I wipe it down. We use our phones a lot. So putting that on your face, don't touch and rub into your eyes, nose, or mouth. That's how pathogens enter the body or microbes and germs and all of that. Like, it's got to have an entryway. Yeah, but I'm going to take this call and I'll talk to y'all later. Quick overview <laughs> of our pantry. We need to kind of... <gasps> Why would you do that? Oh, my God. I heard you coming, but I didn't know he was about to do such a thing. So... <laughs> We need to spend some more time, I guess, organizing the pantry. So that'll be something that we'll do while we're at the house more than usual. Normally we put like, you know, the strawberry shortcakes kind of in there. I like grits. Kind of just purchase these more so from liking it, not necessarily like over purchasing or stockpiling. Got kind of like our usual things that we actually would purchase at the grocery store, but just a little bit more than what we normally would get, especially because Dominique is off of work. So she's going to be home more than her usual amount of hours if she wasn't taken off of work because of this. Some sodas and things like Fonta Cherry Cola, Sprite, gum, because I like to have this in my purse. Plus, Sam sells things in bulk anyway, so I had no other choice but to get it like that. And then some stuff, like I said, we did already have. So we kind of just purchased a few more things that we would kind of want. I'm going to put a few more 
waters in here since majority of them are over here these are two 24 packs coming over here as much as i can stay home i think i'm going to do that more so than just being out so we did replenish what we may need for cleaning but again not over purchasing things the lifestyle that i showed you all was because this one it's getting low. It's more cleaning supplies. These are the uh, ones I told y'all that we normally use around the house to wipe up and stuff. So that's the reason we purchased more of those. Just because we were running low. And there's only two of us that live here. So this is the tissue. Some more tissue. Paper towels. Not just like going crazy. But at the same time, if we're going to be in the house, still having what we need to eat. Okay, so I have my phone muted. I'm on our conference call for our jurisdiction. Our bishop is talking right now about... Basically what we're going to be doing as far as like church and everything as a whole. Our Bishop, Bishop Taylor, you have to like call in and then you mute your phone. It said it was like 130 of us on the call. I missed the roll call, but just listening in. The Lord is in the list. Whatever we bind on earth, was bind it in heaven, he would loose it in heaven. So corporate prayer is powerful when we touch and agree. God won't. Uh, I'm not a professional or anything. I'm just putting my thoughts directly out into my camera as I speak, thinking aloud about this. But I think that's what y'all wanted. Just my opinions on everything. Be safe. Be careful. Stay prayerful. Make smart decisions. Be safe. And I love you guys.